We're gonna jump right into the warm up. Now, a good warm up should take somewhere between three and seven minutes. As we do this, we're basically gonna to try to warm up or wake up your entire body. We're gonna be working on the skin, doing some light massage, doing some big movements. We wanna increase your circulation, increase your heart rate a little bit, and hopefully get you sweating just a tiny bit by the end so that you're ready to move into the rest of the workout. Now for our warm ups, we do things that are a little bit differently, just like everything else in Z Health. We're gonna do some stuff from Chinese martial arts. And this is a really, really cool warm up that has a lot of neurologic implications that we can talk about some other time. But the goal here is to basically work on and wake up your entire body. So we're actually gonna start with your teeth. So I'm gonna have you take uh, nine or 10 repetitions. I just want you to click your teeth together. Next, we're gonna go into some face washing, basically. We're gonna start around your eyes, you're gonna use your fingers, and you wanna do some light pressure, keep your eyes closed, and you wanna do nine to 10 circles. Now you can go clockwise or counterclockwise, I don't get really picky about that. After the eyes, we're gonna to go to the whole face, so use your entire palm and do some light circles all over the skin of the face. Next, you're gonna make some claw shapes with your fingers, you're gonna start at your scalp, you're going to work toward the back of your head, basically calming your hair, or in my case, what little you have left. Maybe eight, nine, ten reps. From here, we're going to go to your ears. You're actually going to do a little massage starting at the lobe of your ear, working up around the top. Just a little bit of light uh, circular massage. And at this point, you should be getting a lot of blood flow kind of into your face and head. Now, I'm gonna turn around, I want you to see this. You're gonna take two fingers, you're gonna to come to these spots that often get quite sore, and we wanna do some light rotations right here. Once again, eight to 10 reps each direction. We're then gonna go directly between those two spots and do the same thing. Just giving your neck a little bit of attention as you begin the warm up. Now from here, we're gonna to move to the throat. And I'm gonna demonstrate this uh, first. Goal here is to mimic a swallowing action, starting at the chin, moving down to the throat. Again, eight to 10 reps. From there, we're gonna to go to our chest. Take one hand, reach across. And this is just a light kind of rubbing motion over your pec muscles and over your front of your shoulder. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna to switch to the opposite side. Do the same thing again. You can cover as little or as much ground here as you want. It's a lot of room around the shoulder that you can work in. From there, we're gonna to move to our arms. Take your left arm, rotate it so the palm is facing up, start at your shoulder, rub down all the way to the fingertips. Make sure that you get all the way down to your fingers. A lot of people will stop at the wrist. Once you've completed your reps here, turn the arm over, start at the fingers and rub back up toward the shoulder. You want to stay relaxed, especially the rubbing hand. Make sure it's loose so that it contours to the rest of the body. Then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Start with the palm up, start at the shoulder, rub down to the fingers. Don't forget to breathe as you do this. Now most people by this time are starting to get a little bit warm. Flip the hand over, start at the fingers, up to the shoulder. For me, every time I do this warm up, I tend to start getting a little bit of sweat going actually right about now. So you may see me shiny on the camera. All right, from here, we're gonna go to our ribs. Take both hands, put them on uh, your ribs, basically underneath your arms, and you're gonna be doing some small circles here. Try and stay nice and tall as you do this. If you have shoulder flexibility issues, you can actually reach across and do it this way too. But you just wanna make sure that you're hitting both sides. And then from there, we're gonna follow the shape of the ribs. Put your hands on your lower ribs, come up toward uh, where they're gonna meet in the middle, and then down around your abdomen. So it's this big circular motion using both hands on both sides of the abdomen. Now, once we've completed this, we're gonna turn and go to our back for a minute. We're gonna take and use the back of our hands. We're gonna put our knuckles around where your kidneys would be and you're gonna do some light rotations there. If you have good shoulder flexibility, you can make that a bigger circle, reaching up nice and high. And you can also go a little bit lower down into the sacrum and tailbone region. All right, shake out any tension that's built up from there. We have a couple more to do just in the abdomen. We're gonna find your navel or umbilicus and you're gonna come just below that and you do some circles in each direction. Now this is kind of a small, light amount of circling. 
In uh, Chinese martial arts, they'll tell you that you need to do about 36 repetitions in each direction. Now, I don't, as I said, get hung up on the reps or the numbers, but you can do circles in each direction. All right, once you've done that, we're now ready to go to our legs, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna show it to you. This includes a little bit of a squatting motion, and this one will get your uh, heart rate up a little bit. It will also start to increase uh, your kind of internal heat a little bit, so once again, if you're not sweating yet, you may start to after this one. The goal here is we're gonna run our hands down the back of our legs as we squat down, and then we're gonna rotate our hands around the inside of the legs as we come up. So again, eight to 10 reps, all the way down to the feet, and then back up. Now, as you're doing this, once again, you're trying to become more aware of your body, making sure that you can feel your legs, your upper legs, your lower legs. You might want to exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come back up. You're going to finish your repetitions. And then we're going to go to your feet. Now, for this one, if you need to sit down, you can do that. If you need to hold on, you can also do that. But the goal here is to do some light massage on the bottom of the foot. So, from here, you're going to focus on a little spot in the pad of the foot. I like to use my thumb and just do a small amount of pressure. Once again, in some of the more traditional systems, they'll say 81 circles in this spot. I don't think you need to do that. Um, you can feel around in the bottom of the foot for sore or tight spots. Just give a little bit of light pressure as you circle. From there, we'll go to the opposite foot. Repeat the same thing. Now, as I mentioned before, if you have any kind of balance problems, hold on to a chair, a stool, wall, whatever you can find. And as I said, work through the bottom of the foot, making sure you find anything that feels a little bit tight. Now from here, come back up to standing, bounce for a second, relax, get nice and tall. Now I'm gonna have you put your hands on your lower ribs, and I want you to take a couple of breaths in and out. Catch your breath for just a second. Now what we're gonna do are some arm swings. I'm gonna have you widen your stance and we're gonna let our arms move nice and uh, kind of in a relaxed fashion as we rotate our upper and lower body at the same time. So if you can hear this, my hands are lightly tapping both my back and my ribs. So just a little bit of shock. This is a really nice, kind of internal massage practice. It feels really, really good. I start almost all my own training sessions with this movement following the warm-up that we just did. And depending on how tight I'm feeling, particularly through my back and my legs, I may do anywhere from 20, just 20 repetitions of this, all the way up to two or three minutes. So I'm gonna let you choose as you go through, but I want you to aim for a minimum of 20 rotations. Once you finish that up, come back to standing. Now from here, we're gonna do a little movement called a cross crawl. You're gonna hold your hands up. You're gonna work with your right arm and your left leg. You're gonna reach across the body with your right elbow to your left knee, and then do the opposite. We're gonna shoot again for about 20 repetitions. And the goal here is to make sure that your upper body particularly is crossing the midline as you do this little marching motion. And as you finish this, come back to standing. Again, relax, breathe out. Then we're gonna finish up the warm up by working on our eyes briefly. I'm gonna have you take your arm out to uh, arm's length. Keep your head still, focus on your thumb or index finger with your eyes. And then you're gonna create some large circles. Now, as you can see, I tend to switch my hands in the middle of the circle. But the goal here is three to five repetitions in each direction. If this feels awkward to switch the hands, you can just do a smaller circle, but bring the finger closer. By bringing the finger closer, you can just use one hand and you can still get a nice stretching effect for the eyes. So three to five repetitions each direction. That's the warm up. Should be feeling pretty good. Be much more aware of your whole body, including your head, your throat, your shoulders, arms, legs, feet, everything. Uh, breathing should be up a little bit, heart rate should be up a little bit, so this is going to get you in great shape to move on to the band work. Mm -hmm.